find the area between the curves 2 sine of x and sine of 2x in the interval from 0 less than or equal to x less than or equal to pi. So I've gone ahead and taken the liberty to draw this diagram because I want to represent these two functions on a graph so that we can know what area we're talking about. And so I've shaded in this area. Obviously, this um, line here is the 2 sine of x graph. And this line here is the sine of 2x graph. Okay, so to calculate the area of anything, we need an integral between two points, a and b, and the function itself that lies between those points. And we have to solve this definite integral. So our function is going to be this curve that's the higher curve subtracted by this lower curve. So our function is 2 sine of x minus sine of 2x, and our points that we're integrating between is 0 and pi. So let's go ahead and do this integration. So we have the integral from 0 to pi of 2 sine of x minus sine of 2x dx. As you can see, 2 sine of x was higher than sine of 2x, which created this area. So we can split this integral into two. So we can have the integral from 0 to pi of 2 sine of x minus the integral from 0 to pi of sine of 2x. Okay, now this integral is easy to solve because the integral of sine of x is cosine of x. So we have is negative cosine of x. And that's negative 2 cosine of x from 0 to pi minus. And now we're going to make a substitution here. So we're going to let 2x equal to u. And by letting 2x equal to u, differentiating in terms of x, we get 2 dx. So du is equal to 2 dx. And this is going to be our substitution. But also this is a definite integral. So when we are changing our variable, we also need to change our limits of integration. So if we integrated x from 0 to pi, then we need to integrate u from, so we substitute in 0 over here, and we get 2 times by 0, which is then again 0, and then pi times by 2, which is 2 pi. So we're integrating from 0 to 2 pi of sine of u du. Okay, so now let's substitute in the pi and the 0 over here, and we have minus 2 cosine of pi, and then minus minus 2 cosine of 0, and then subtracting this integral here. And sorry, this should be 1 over 2 here. Because when we substitute it in for dx, we substitute in du over 2, because we've taken this 2 across. So we get minus 1 over 2 cosine of u between 0 and 2 pi. Okay, so now cosine of pi is equal to negative 1. So we have negative 2 times by negative 1. And then cosine of 0 is equal to 1. So we have minus times by a minus, which is going to be a positive. So plus 2 times by 1, which is just 2. So plus 2. Then subtract what we're going to get from this bracket. So we have minus 1 over 2 cosine of 2 pi. And then minus, minus 1 over 2 cosine of 0. Okay. So we have now plus 2, plus 2, minus into these brackets. And then cosine of 2 pi is just 1. So we have minus 1 over 2 times 1, which is minus 1 over 2. And this negative times a negative will be a positive. And then cosine of 0 is 1. So it's 1 over 2 times by 1, which is still going to be 1 over 2. And then what we have is 2 plus 2, which is 4, minus, and this will become 0, minus 0. So we have 4 unit squared because this is area so that's the definite integral solved and we have found that the area bounded by these two curves 
2 sine of x and sine of 2x is actually 4 units squared. So if you found this video helpful and you learned something from it, please don't forget to leave it a like and subscribe. It really helps me out. And I'll see you for the remaining days of this countdown. Thank you.